Early last month, South Korean students began their delayed school year online. Creating a system that millions can use at the same time wasn't an easy task. It involved the unprecedented process of sharing confidential information by a number of big-name firms. Kim bo young sheds light on how they came together. Unprecedented. This is how the engineers who were in charge of making online classes possible described the situation at the time. Companies normally prepare for a year with closed launches and beta tests before releasing a full service. But this time, engineers had just a few weeks to make it possible for 3 million students to use the cloud service at the same time for online classes. At first, we only had to provide a service for high school students in Daegu and Gyeongsangbuk-do province. But we ended up having around 3 million students nationwide. The pre-existing EBS software learning platform could only be used by 2,000 students at a time. So there were 1,500 times as many students as usual in less than a month. It was unprecedented. To make the unprecedented number of online classes possible, Microsoft and several domestic IT companies such as Bespin Global joined together and shared confidential information. Microsoft provided the cloud service, which is the foundation on which Bespin Global created the infrastructure. Although it was considered impossible at first, engineers say they tried their best because they felt the responsibility to help students start their delayed semester. Usually we provide services for a specific company, but this time it was for all the students in South Korea. We have this sense of duty that we need to let them attend classes and get back to normal school life even though it's online. The experts put their heads together to find solutions to their impossible challenge. We even had a war room where all the companies and education ministry officials worked together. We would share information to solve errors rather than blaming each other. This cooperation and teamwork made online classes possible in South Korea. Kim Bo-kyung, Arirang News.